Hello everyone, this is Hassan. Uh, today we will talk about the uh, API testing part 3. Uh, in this video, I will uh, cover some of the features which is uh, understand the delete features and then understand uh, the environment variables, uh, the global variables, enforcement, how to create and store the environment variables and how do we use those environment variables right and why do we need to know the delete and uh, what is the reason behind it in order to, uh, what's the reason behind it to use the delete, uh, delete request right and why should we use the variables and why do we need the variables okay so those are the few things I'll be discovering or I'll be talking about it in this video so in my previous video I showed you guys how to do the get and the post so as you uh, as I uh, restarted my uh, API server so currently I don't have any uh, any landlords in my in my in my list in my database right so what the get request does is as soon as you send the request it goes to the database and look at this uh, table for landlords and see if there's any records so currently there's no records in the in the database that's why it's not showing any responses for us right so in order to show uh, a landlord we need to do uh, go ahead and create a landlord so basically like we need to pass the uh, has the value inside the body so like first name is a song last name is a QA and then uh, we'll do a sort of testing which is like uh, make sure the response code is 2 or 1 right so let's go ahead and do that and uh, we're sending a send uh, post request so as you can see from the response that our uh, landlord has been created and as you can see that our first name is appearing right here and the last name is here at the same time it generates an ID for you so every time you uh, do a post request it's going to create a uh, unique ID for each landlord right so let's go ahead and change this name like uh, one and we're going to send it again and as you can see that ID has been uh, the ID has been unique, right? So new ID has been generated for the landlords too. If you do the get request now, you're gonna see two records has been created. And for example, uh, like for example, like if you want to delete one of these landlords, like how are you gonna do that, right? So there is gonna be always a unique stuff that you need to be used in order to delete some specific uh, stuff. So in our case, if you want to specifically delete this guy, uh, Hassan then I do need to use his ID which is the 6E whatever is it right so uh, let's look at the requirements in Swagger like how and what are the required fields are needed for the delete uh, request uh, in Swagger so let's look at it so as you can see in the delete in the delete it shows that you need to pass ID inside the path so the ID needs to go in here so landlord slash ID need to be there in order to do the delete right and it's a required field is ID of course and then uh, the response should be like you should get a message like uh, so I don't know what kind of message is going to be right here it's going to say 200 response code if you successfully delete and then it's going to say landlord with ID XYZ successfully deleted right and if the landlord is not found then it's going to say 400 so as a tester like you can verify those uh, scenarios like one is positive negative and then you know verify the if you get a success message and verify the message as well right so let's go ahead and do that in Postman. So uh, as you saw that uh, when I am creating a landlord, is automatically create a uh, ID for you. So somehow I need to store this ID, right, in order to delete that landlord from our database, right? So how are we gonna do that, right? In uh, in Postman there is a thing called environment. So if you click right here, uh, the arrow and then click on the manage environments and then you're going to see this pop uh, edit box okay, pop up box right in here you have an option to create an environment and you have also an option called global so what, is, what are the difference between environments and the global environments right so if you go ahead click on global so you can see like i have a lot of global environments uh, so this can be used in any of the projects that I have under the Postman. So like if I want to use one of these variables uh, under the globals, for example, like Emily ID, right? If I need that ID in any of this project, I can go ahead and use it. Like you can use it globally, right? And um, then what is this environment? So, like right here, like why you need to create this specifically, right? So the reason you need to create a specifically uh, a environment because you want that environment to be using only for this project. So I think it's more organized way. Like if you click, uh, if you create your own environments for your own project, it's better because uh, if you look at the global one, no way you can export this file. 
So which is another uh, another uh, import this file. You can export it. You can download as JSON. But no way you can import. Like somebody gives you a global variables and then there is no way like you can go ahead and import it, right? So in the manage, uh, if you use the regular environments, like and then you can go ahead and import uh, import right here. You can import those environments from the file, right? So that's the opportunity, and I, I, I like to be organized. So for each project, I rather create the environment variables. So for this project, we're also going to create one called uh, Teletech uh, variable, right? And then just click add, and that's it. It's going to create it right here for you, and it's a blank project, right? It's a blank environment. So while we are using this project, our job is going to be make sure we are using the correct environment. Uh, variables right so you need to see like this guy okay so so now next job is uh, so uh, if you look uh, if you look there we looked at the the swagger documentation it shows that we uh, in order to do the delete we need to use the ID right so how we're gonna capture or store that ID into this environment right that's our next step okay so for this we have a command called uh, postman set environment variables right and then name of the variable so you can name it anything I'll call it landlords ID right and then comma and uh, whatever the object reference which is JSON data okay dot this guy ID right ID and that's it as simple as this ID and you're done with this script. so what is going to do is when you're going to create a uh, landlord when you do the post request it's going to do this testing at the same time it's going to store this id for you in your environment variable as a landlord's id right so let's go ahead and run it again so let's change this name to two and as you can see it's r e y o it's, it's an id so let's go ahead and rerun this project uh rerun the script and it's going to be O X. So I think I made a mistake somewhere. It's saying that set environment variables. So maybe I'm making mistakes with this button. This environment variable. All right. So what is this? So now lots of IDs. Let's go ahead and run it again. So uh, the ID at this time is M A. So let's look at the ID in the variables. Make sure it's captured, right? Right here, it, it did capture and it known as landlord's ID, right? Okay. So now uh, landlord's ID has been created, and if you look at the get request, you will be seeing that as well, right here. So now uh, you have the list of the landlords. Now from this list, I want to get rid of this guy, for example, right? So I need to uh, create another uh, request, which is a delete request. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add it, saying that uh, delete deleting landlord. Landlord. All right. So change the request type is delete, right? And then you need to pass an ID. So let's save it for now and go back to this list. So whatever you want to delete, let's say I want to delete Hassan. So let me take this ID, excuse me, and then pass it right here, and then send it. Okay, and it's failing because I copied from the post request. So this one should be this guy, and then data should be Okay, all right. So now. It's saying that 6ES WNR, whatever the ID was, it has been deleted. Now we're going to go back and check if Hassan is here. Actually, Hassan is not here right now, right? All right, cool. So now we're going to go ahead and automate that. So that was a manual process. What did we do? We got the list of the landlords, we took the ID, and then we passed this ID in here. That's it. As simple as this. That was a manual process. Like, you don't want to take that headache. You want to automate that, right? So while you are creating, we are capturing these landlords, right? So every time you run it, it's generated ID and it stores in here. And if you click on the I, you will see the landlords right here. Talent tag bar and then ID is right there. This is the new one, right? If I rerun it again, 
ID is 000. If you click on this I, and then you'll see this value as well. You don't need to keep going on back and forth, right? All right. So now we will be deleting as we're creating, right? So we're going to be using this guy in our delete request. So how we're going to do that? Open two open curly bracket and then two curly bracket at the end and then paste it, right? And now what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and create it, okay? So as you can see, OWB has been created. Make sure it's the same one, okay? And then do the get request to verify it. It is created and it has been added to the get list, right? Mr. the Lambert. And now we're going to go ahead and delete it. And OWB has been deleted, right? So if you run this entire suite, right? For example, like uh, if you run it through here, run. Oh, it's taking a while. all right so it is here so this is the project we are going to run and this is the environment we are going to use and then run it and i have three test cases they all pass so what it is first one get the data the second one create a landlord at the same time that third one delete the landlord okay that's it so why you need this environment variables so in order to use uh automat automation or dynamically like creating and then delete it at that time you should use the environment variables because uh, you don't want to take the headache like go here take the i uh, the id from the landlord and then go ahead and delete it right now it's working as a dynamic right you creating as you creating you're creating environment variables and then next step you need to delete that go ahead and use it or if you don't need to delete it in the next step whenever you need it like as long as you're in the same project go ahead and use it and it's going to uh, it's going to do the job for you all right Okay, so wait for the next video. In next video, we're going to show you how to uh, use put. And then we're going to show you how to run uh, entire test suite as a batch. Like, you know, how you're going to run them through the new, uh, new man. So in order to do that, we need to install a couple of software such as uh, new man, Node.js, and etc. Okay, so hope you like this video. And uh, share if you liked it. Comments if you have any questions. If you're not clear about something, let us know and hope to answer you back as soon as possible. Alright, thank you and have a nice day.